Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash and I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ in front of you. Here the question is which component mentioned below will predominate into the reaction mixture after the completion of this reaction. So look at the reaction condition very much carefully and tell what will be the major product after this reaction. Four options are provided student and one of them is the right answer. I request your student please pause the video, read the question again very much carefully. Try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. Don't hesitate because self evaluation is essential for improvement and that's why you should try. So I believe you have tried by yourself, it's my turn to give you the right answer. Now, <coughs> sorry, look at this problem. The reaction of this arene or benzene with one equivalent of hydrogen, this is the interesting point and palladium as catalyst and for this reaction high temperature and pressure needed. So a simple thing we expect that okay, hydrogen palladium means hydrogenation and one equivalent hydrogen is given so one double bond will be reduced in the product no student the picture is not that much actually if you look at the overall hydrogenation reaction of benzene is first step this palladium hydrogen actually hydrogen is adsorbed by palladium and alkyl this arene also and then through hydrogen transfer first it produces this butadiene and in this case these two hydrogens you may consider added to this molecule Second hydrogenation, if this is allowed the further hydrogenation, then these hydrogen will be added across the double bond. Means this 1,4-butadiene will be converted into this alkene. Fine, in cyclohexene. Later on, similarly, these hydrogen will be added to this alkene to make a saturated hydrocarbon that is cyclohexane. Now, a simple question is student which step is the most difficult step and why because if you understand this it will be easier to get the right answer actually the first step is most difficult step why because in this case you may see that aromaticity is lost aromaticity lost now you may think that sir still there is a 1,4-1,3 butadiene conjugation is there it is true that this has conjugation but remember aromaticity is huge stabilization and benzene is highly stable because of aromaticity. So since the aromaticity is the first step, so this step is most difficult and for that purpose drastic condition like high temperature and pressure is essential. Now, now if I ask you a question who is more reactive between this benzene and this 1,4-1,3-butadiene. So obviously the product is more reactive. So this is more reactive and if the product is student more reactive then what you expect that when this product will be produced it will be converted into the next product this is and obviously this is also very more reactive compared to benzene. So it will again undergo hydrogenation and finally it will convert it into this cyclohexane. Now this is true easy I agree but with one equivalent of benzene one equivalent of hydrogen is given so that's the main problem here so for example your reaction mixture have 100 molecules of benzene just it's a it's for understanding now among these 100 molecules when 10 molecules will be converted into this butadiene what will happen for example not 10 let's consider that 20 mole 25 molecule got converted into this fine so instantly these 25 molecules will convert will be converted again into this so this is again 25 and next this 25 will be this 25 now these 25 molecules of this benzene consumed how many equivalent hydrogen gas or hydrogen molecule h2 so first step it catches one h2 okay fine now second step it catches 1H2, in third step it catches 1H2, okay. So first step 1, 2 and 3, so 3 equivalent of this hydrogen will be instantly consumed when the first 
for the first few benzene conversion. So in this case you can understand that benzene conversion will is sluggish but the product from this benzene reduction means this first hydrogenation is very reactive. So in the reaction medium who will be as the major product will remain will remain in maximum amount obviously this benzene will remain in the maximum percentage okay because hydrogen is given one equivalent it is consumed three times more compared to benzene so very soon all the hydrogen will be finished and if the hydrogen is finished then who will reduce this benzene obviously no one so in the reaction medium you can expect the majority of this will remain as in the form of benzene it's a very conceptual question student so second thing why high pressure and high temperature needed for this reaction since in first step aromaticity is lost and aromaticity is a very high stabilization energy that's why high temperature and high pressure is essential to overcome that much stabilization i mean activation energy is higher in this case so what is the answer <laughs> actually answer is here this one okay benzene so what do you have learned today that hydrogenation on aromatic nucleus is relatively difficult process due to aromaticity which is a huge huge stabilization energy for a molecule and for hydrogenation of aromatic compound more input energy needed and which is provided in the form of drastic condition means high pressure high temperature etc now alkenes are more reactive for hydrogenation compared to arenes because loss of re is less like benzene versus cyclohexene or cyclohexadiene palladium actually uses as catalyst here initially it reacts with hydrogen and split them into covalent hydride which is subsequently transferred to the pi bond of alkene or arene and it reduces them to corresponding the saturated analog and the most important one this catalytic hydrogenation is very useful method as hydrogen is one of the green reducing agent okay and this but in this case the main problem is the disposal of palladium we should be very much careful because this palladium is first of all toxic and second it's costly to wish and wish that's why you should try to reuse as much as we can so this is the end of discussion thanks for watching and if you really consider the content of my channel is worthy then please help this channel to grow so stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video bye bye